CBR 1000 devil ah. <laughs> but you know what guys you know what I'll probably never buy another cruiser motorcycle again let's go for a ride <laughs> watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today the ducati x diavo actually spoiled me uh, and the reason why i probably won't buy a, a cruiser again is because of that bike not because of this bike or my wr250r which i love and i love this bike too by the way of course but i <laughs> love it baby but you know what? Yeah, the X Diablo, man, it pulls harder than this bike, baby. And there's really nothing else like the Ducati X Diablo out there. Like I told you guys, 545 pounds, wet, uh, you know, 150 something, 157 horsepower, 95 pounds feet of torque. You know, all, a lot of that power right there at, at the bottom of the RPM range. And you just feel that pull. Yeah! <laughs> oh man <laughs> and it dies in the corners and everything there's no other cruiser out there i'm spoiled by this by that bike man the v max doesn't isn't like that bike. it's 150 plus pounds heavier or something like that well, the suzuki boulevard m109 our boss that sucker is 100 plus uh, pounds heavier don't have the turn and feel like the xdi but there's nothing else out there and not just that guys not just that that's not the problem alone a big problem that i have with cruisers that i don't like now that's just me everybody's different everybody has their own preferences you want to get the motorcycle that is meets your preferences you know just because it doesn't meet mine that that doesn't mean i'm hating on a cruiser i'm not hating on them i'm just telling you that I won't buy one, probably won't buy one again. I'll never say never, but I'll just be real with you guys is that uh, I don't care for the feet forward design. I like, you know, the feet forward, having your feet up like that. I don't like that feeling. It makes me feel vulnerable. <laughs> it, you know, I feel like I can't jump off the bike, which I know a lot of you guys are like, man, I mean, who jumps off of their bike? Yeah, there's a lot of people out there. I jump off my bike. When I see dangers coming, I jump the heck, especially my WR250R messing around in these raw woods out here with no trails, vines all over the the the, uh, the ground and tree branches everywhere, crisscrossing everywhere. That's why a lot of you guys like cycle cruising, man. You riding slow in the woods and you drop the bike and it's so, uh, you know, riding slow in the woods. You come out here and ride raw, dog it, out here in these woods with no trails where it's got tons of roots and everything and uh, like I said, branches, everything crisscross. It's very highly technical riding in raw woods. It really is. You can't blaze through there. If you do, you're going to end up head first into a tree. But, uh, oh man, look at here. We got a little curve here. Look at here, look at here, look at here, baby. <laughs> you gotta appreciate a curve when you come near one but but anyways guys uh yeah i don't like the feet forward design man it just i like i said i can't jump off the bike when i want to and uh i just i don't like that feeling you know and uh and there's no like i said there's no other cruiser like the x diablo this i'm just not a cruiser dude you know i'm too young for a cruiser man <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just joking. I mean, people of all ages ride cruisers, but typically, most you know, a lot of older dudes like ride them because they get tired of the, the seating position of these uh, super bikes where you're more bent over in the aggressive riding position. And uh, we got another curve here, baby. Look at here, 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 look at here. But I just, I'm not, I just have too much energy. I, I'm too. I, I just I'm more of a sport bike guy and a dual sport guy and like I said I love the X Diablo the X Diablo is really not it's not really a cruiser it's a cruiser in the sense that your legs are up 
you know, doing, you know, feet forward position. You got the belt drive, which brings another point to why I don't want a cruiser, because a lot of the cruisers are belt driven. I hate belts, you know, because rocks pound them, and then if it snaps, uh, it can leave you stranded out here. They're a lot more vulnerable than a chain. A chain is probably the most reliable uh, drive system on a motorcycle. Um, yeah, you have the shaft drive with the, uh, like the Suzuki Boulevard M109R bounce. Uh, but that adds so much weight to the bike, man. And you get that, sh uh, the shaft jack that a lot of people mention when you hit hard on that throttle, you get that bump on there. And, um, like I said, and that, it just adds so much weight to it. But I know a lot of you guys are like cycle cruiser, man. What are you, a little pansy or something talking about weight? I like a, I just, for me, my preference, again, getting back to my preferences, my preferences are that I love a bike that feels light on its feet. But I don't know. That's just me, guys. That's just me. My preferences, that's what I like. Uh, you like, and, that, and the problem I think we get caught up with is we, you know, we debate and argue about, you know, our preferences because other people don't like our preferences and uh people don't realize that's just the it it's we all have our own preferences so stop trying to argue about which bike is better uh because there is no perfect bike for everybody there really isn't guys uh however i feel like the wr250r is perfect for everybody <laughs> even you shorties out there you just have to to uh man up and quit worrying about falling over on the bike or something because it's too tall you got these uh short riders out there like james stewart that's a boss on a mx bike i mean you got that uh you got this motor vlogger chick on there to ride supermotos and she's like five foot four um it's a mental game baby it's a mental game as far as your your if you're a short dude or a short girl and you fear a tall bike that's mental you know because you're you can ride any bike you want to. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can be a midget. I've seen midgets out here riding these taller bikes out here, you know? Like I said, it's, it's a mental game out here. Riding your motorcycle out here on the streets is a mental game. But yeah, guys, I, I won't say never. I just say at this present time, I will not buy a cruiser at this any time soon. Hey, we got some motorcycle riders out here. We got a cruiser ride up here. How perfect for this video. Look at here, look at here. We got a Harley rider. But uh, hey man, all that matters is that you enjoy your ride, you know. And I'd rather see you ride, you know, ride on a cruiser, you'll have a good time. You'll be able to see the scenery, just cruising and chilling. But uh, it, hey, to each his own, you know. I'm not hating, I'm just telling you guys that Psycho Cruiser is uh, is more of a sport bike and dual sport guy and that's just the way it is for now for now who knows about the future man you know people change but uh, I gave it a try I, I love my X Diablo I plan on keeping it for a couple years and uh, like I said that bike's really more of like a sport bike it's perfect for you guys that, that want to get a cruiser that are coming from uh, you know a super bike and super sport because it's got it's got the super bike power, man. And turning feel is really awesome. But anyways, for those of you guys who want to get my gear, my camel pants, my gloves, boots, uh, everything, all my stuff, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are current links to all of my stuff, guys. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with my over thousand plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through my videos hey hit thumbs up if you like this video share this video with your friends hey, it really helps me get motivated to do more videos when you hit thumbs up i appreciate all you guys and uh hey subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel 
Bug Out Moto. On Bug Out Moto, the showcase is a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.